At the 2013 Performance Racing Industry Trade Show, Centroid demonstrated its complete line of CNC machine tools. At the show, Centroid's Port Block 5-axis CNC machining center, the AE560, was CNC porting a brand new set of aftermarket Duramax diesel heads. Designed by Wagler Competition, these heads have a unique port shape. Using the AE560, Wagler was able to use a vertical CNC porting approach to get to all those difficult to reach spots. Meanwhile, the A560 XL was machining out a brand new John Deere 466 head out of a solid block of aluminum. We caught up with one of the Centroid techs to talk about what type of tools were being used. The uh, insert tool, I mean, you see here, it's a one inch insert tool. Yep. Works really well. I was initially just going to use this just for the roughing, but the finish it leaves just so nice. It actually worked well just straight to finish it. See a variety of other tools used. We're going to use in drills for drilling out the ports initially, so you have a place for pulling the chips to go. Then coming in with the insert tool, roughing out the ports. Then coming in with a half inch, uh, half inch lollipop, and then finish up with a three-eighths lollipop. So a number of tools being used for different operations. All Centroid Performance Racing machine tools are equipped with a 24-pocket swing arm automatic tool changer. The ATC allows continuous part production without constant operator intervention. The third Centroid machine on display at PRI was the B4250, Centroid's four-axis block CNC machining center. On the block machine, we were punching out some Chevy LS series aluminum blocks in preparation for our Darton sleeve installation. After the machining is completed, the sleeves are installed and bored to the required diameter, and then all surfaces are decked to the proper height. At the show, we caught up with Tony Saloom of VAC Motorsports. Tony recently put an A560 in his engine shop, and we wanted to ask him why he decided to go with a Centroid. You know, as demand grows, you say to yourself, well, how many cylinder heads a week can I do? Do I really want to sit there and kill myself with the grinder and so forth? So we made the decision to start looking. And it was actually a little bit of a lengthy process since I do have a CNC background. And since I do understand the CNC equipment, not just based on porting only, I kind of knew that I wanted a robust machine. In the earlier searches, I looked at multiple brands, didn't find the machine that I wanted. Um, what really made me finally make the decision and go for it was the latest Centroid. With the uh, A560, I had to do it. This machine made it easy because of the versatility. Uh, had the ability to change from blocks to cylinder heads uh, to even a milling table option that we chose really is what differentiates this machine. And doing it quickly. I mean, others maybe others can do it, but I don't think there's any other machine that you can change over setup so quickly on. So, you know, one minute we're doing a cylinder head, 10 minutes later we have a block in the machine. And when we need to do, uh, cylinder, when we need to do something that's uh, five axis complicated, something that's really, really, for example, throttle body ITV adapters was the latest part that we manufactured on it. Five axis work, uh, got to do it on a machine like this. Well, we put the table in there. It made life easy. You got the job done. Part looks beautiful. Can't do it on, a, on any other machine. Can't change over that quickly on any other machine. Dedicated equipment is perfect in it if your shop is busy enough to keep every machine busy eight hours a day. But if you have a machine that's down for four hours a day, it doesn't make any sense. So in our case, we are high volume at times, but we'll line up our cylinder heads and we'll do two, three, or four cylinder heads in a row. After that, if we have a block, we're changing over to a block. Why would I want to own two machines when I can do it in one?